Okay, we're going into HEB. What used to be my favorite HEB, but it's no longer. They still have cashiers and friendly people. No, everyone is an employee of HEB. You have to check out your own groceries. And that's not fun. So, we're boycotting many of these operations simply by ordering online. So today, we'll look at what do they have. I, I wonder if we can order plants online. Probably not. These plants look very bad, very bad, very bad. Very bad. So you gotta always make sure you're caught. Something is wrong with this cart. If you think something is wrong with the cart, you gotta let it go. There's nothing worse than having a cart that. Uh, so over here we got plantains at 48 cents for one. Got some big ones over here. I'm probably gonna get about about three three plantains. There's an abandoned bag. So I'm going to use this abandoned plastic bag to get three, three plantains. I think Brer Rat gave Brian and C five plantains. You've got some papaya. I've already done Operation Papaya. I bought one and planted it. It's growing, but it's not going to survive the winter. We have a variety of packaged fruits. When it comes to fruits and produce, um, HEB is better than Kroger. HEB is always better than Kroger. They have much more fresh. Uh, vegetables in terms of lettuce in terms of uh, kale and those type of things so you can um, you can be rest assured okay this is my friend over here doing his work I didn't bother him Sometimes people don't appreciate it when you say hi to them. They're not happy at work and all day they're dealing with difficult people. I don't know what else is needed for the house. So I am not going to get a lot of things here. But I just wanted to share with you an experience of being at well, HEB. These are cucumbers. Sometimes they have very nice cucumbers. But not today. The cucumbers are not that nice. What do they call this actually? They don't put a name on it. I tried growing one recently and I think the squirrels came and they ate it. The squirrels ate it. So we come down here and You've got a pre-packaged meal section where you can buy food that's already packaged and just take it home and cook it. It's not very economical, but some people want to do that anyway. Here you have your frozen shellfish and shrimp and those type of things. They're actually frozen. And over here is where we would usually get our cod 
but there's no cod there's uh, salted pollock which is similar to it so I'm gonna get one of those and then um, sorry we have over here um, the seafood section and seafood has gotten very very pricey very pricey as you can see and look we've got red snapper 12.97 well maybe you might see that's a little lot but by the time you get that old snapper here it's gonna cost you about 30 or 40 dollars it's probably cheaper than getting in a restaurant anyway because in a restaurant you don't really know if it's um you don't know if it's really red snapper and they've got all this shrimp and all that over here okay now i've found out sometimes when you come here in the middle and you get a pre-packaged piece of salmon you get it at a cheaper price so this one right here is 24 dollars and it's atlantic salmon texas size pack 10.47 a pound and it's 11 the salmon is 11 something in the other area um do we need salmon could we use salmon probably yes should i get it while i'm here probably yes so it's a yes yes so i'm going to get the one for 21 dollars okay So something must be going on here with the refrigeration. As you can see, there's no, there's no uh, food up here, no meat. So that means they've got a problem with the refrigeration. So all we have is the names and the prices, but no examples of what they look like. You have a lamb shank over here, which is very overpriced, eleven ninety eight eighty eight. But um, we're not going to deal with that today. We're not getting any of that. We're going to go get the important stuff. But you know, this is H E B. So this is H E B, and this is what H E B looks like. And H E B is an excellent place. They support the local community. They employ a lot of variety of people they employ people of every race and of every tribe and most of all they employ the African people and the African children give them jobs when they're out of school give them jobs while they're going to school and I support HEB I shop at HEB and I would encourage you to shop at HEB because H-E-B, not only do they have good food, but they got good community policies, okay? So that's why you should shop H-E-B. And not only that, H-E-B offers you a wide variety, a wide variety of choices. Be it meats, be it um, even cheeses. They have cheeses that are, uh, you know, my favorite cheese is... is uh, extra extra sharp cheddar cheese you know i have a joke about that because when i was buying it and my offsprings were growing up they always used to say it was pricky and they wouldn't like it but later on they they, they came to every time my cheese would disappear so they started eating my cheese and when i came to look for my cheddar cheese it would be gone but once again, I want to encourage you to come out and shop at HEB, support HEB. HEB supports the community. It supports the people. Uh, it has good products. That's another thing. If it didn't have any good products, I would not invite you to shop HEB. Take your time, young man. Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> Look at that. You see, sometimes when you work, these are some of the things you have to do. Do we need orange juice? Probably so. The orange juice I have has expired. Should I get it while I'm here? 
probably so but um, I'm not sure I'm not seeing the one I can afford yet Minute Maid 3 18 So you can see We've got all the aisles. The store is clean. That's the other thing. HEB is clean. They keep a, a very clean operation. The, the, the store is clean. The, the food is clean. The food is affordable. Okay, look at all these aisles. They're clear. I wish I could document the whole store for you, but you know, even trying to be a producer, what is it, a creator, uh, and having to create content can become tedious at some point. It can become tedious, and so while I'm having great fun doing this, at the same time, I'm getting tired, because it's a huge store. It's not the flagship HEB like the one down at Siena Plantation. This one is here in Sugarland, Texas, and but it's it's big enough. It's big enough that just to go through and document the whole store and tell you the beautiful story about HEB is hard work. A lot of people say, "Well, oh, you must not have anything to do. You're making a video." They don't know what goes into making a video. They don't know what effort it takes. To do a documentary and that's why they say that because if they could do it themselves they would do it as well in addition to all of these uh, products and all of these services and and the clean store HEB also offers you uh, prescription services so over here is the pharmacy unfortunately I do not get my uh, prescriptions here I don't know if they have a fuel program, but Kroger has a fuel program. So I mostly get my prescriptions from Kroger, my drugs, my good, good, good drugs. You've got to have your good drugs. So this is basically where the pharmacy is. You've got your drop off. You got your pickup. Okay. And um, then you, 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 you uh, pan through. And that's the rest of the store and um, I just want to show you as we go along all these aisles you got your cosmetics you've got your beauty products you've got your beauty products again and and um, go go right ahead sir and you've got your baby products you've got your greeting cards you've got your flowers if you want to make somebody's day, you could buy them a bouquet of flowers. You could add some ribbons to it. You got your stationery over here. Uh, it's just so much. I think I need three cameras on my head. One on the left and one on the right. And one on the front and one in the back of my head. To completely document HEB for you. But what I want to tell you most of all is that you should support HEB. You should support HEB because HEB supports Houston, HEB supports Texas, HEB supports the local farmers, and most of all, HEB has quite a few people who work for it. And in particularly, they have quite a number of African Americans, people from my tribe, and so long as they're supporting our tribe, we must support them. Thank you for taking a moment to tune in. Um, I'm not quite done yet. I want to show you the other important things that I came here to get, which are of paramount importance. They are of paramount importance. Oh, I don't think I can get the fish by the time I take the fish, I run into Kroger. And I come back out, that fish will probably be smelling. Okay, what do they have here? 
they don't have any single voodoo ranger beer okay so this is the liquor section well not liquor beer and wine this is beer and wine and like i told you before HEB is very supportive of our community and this is why we must support HEB and look at that Echo, Echo Domini is nine dollars here it's actually cheaper I think than Kroger so I'm gonna get one of those and there goes my beautiful lady how are you no no i'm good i'm good i was just talking about heb and how beautiful it is and how beautiful you are and how much it takes care of our community and how much people it employs that's right that's and you've been here for a while 11 years congratulations i'm asking my people to come and shop yeah. heb because right. of the plus you got the the best fresh produce no, when we I have a lot of good stuff. I'm yeah. shopping here and I was like, oh, I might go work here. I, I know what you mean, yeah. And then you get a discount. Yeah, a little yeah. one hour old brand. H -E -B H -E -B brand. Country, organic, Make, yeah. Stuff. But no, I, I really like the store. And you know, they just came out to Dallas, to North Texas. Oh, big one, I'm sure. Big one, yeah. Store. And Kroger and every, every, I mean, you should see the amount of people that was lining up. To go there, yeah. And oh, Kroger, and yeah. And Kroger got scared. got scared. Yeah, they went and remodeled the whole store to compete with HEB. That's right. Because that store was old; it's over 30 years old. Oh wow! Yeah. yeah. We, this is an old store. They had to repaint it and stuff. But it's still nice and clean. Yeah. 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 And you're from? Even originally, Dominica. Okay. Yeah. Oh, how are you? Okay, nice meeting you. And I'm Peter. Peter? Yeah. Ronell. Ronell, see you soon. Ronell is a, a good friend. She's worked here for a while. She handles the beer and wine and um, very friendly, as you can see. What, what, you, what, you, what, you, what, you, what kind of Jesus juice you got? Moscato. Moscato. You must try the manly drinks. No, that sugar makes you more, more drunk. Oh, okay. Yeah, but this, have a wonderful day. Thank you so much. Okay, so we're over here in the beer section and I'm looking for Voodoo Ranger IPA. Voodoo Ranger IPA. Oh, there's one pack left. And it's 1048. No, 1048 on Voodoo Ranger IPA is a good price. It's a very good price. So I'm gonna get that. And pretty much this is gonna conclude our uh, experience here at HEB in terms of shopping. Now the checkout experience we'll see uh, if that's going to up to standard in terms of expectations and how we are treated. Since we have a very short and small shopping list, we're just gonna go directly to uh, check out uh, 25 items or less or 10 items or less. I'm not doing self-checkout. Okay. So I'm not going to do self-checkout, I'm going to do people checkout so that people can keep their jobs. Okay, so where do we go? Which one do we want to go to? A minute ago, the young man was standing up idle with nothing to do. And suddenly now all of the checkout stations are busy. But previously, when I came in, there weren't that many people. Oh, this is self-checkout too? I'm not doing that. Ma'am, can I get past you? Sure. Thank you so much. I'm gonna go up here to this young man. Ma'am, can I get past your cart? 
thank you very much. And so now I'm over here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pay for the most important things first. You always pay for the most important things first. And after that, you pay for the other things. So, like I say, we're going to look at our checkout experience. How are you doing today, Elijah? I'm doing well. I'll be doing two separate payments. Just do for this, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, Elijah, I want you to send this back to the back before it gets spoiled because I have to stop along my way and it's going to... It's too hot. Um, oh, how much is that? 31.34. Okay. So nowadays you come in and uh, does, this doesn't do tapless, does it? No. Which way you put it in? This way. Okay. So we're gonna pay this way. And it says remove the card. So we remove the card and, and we get our receipts. Always important to get a receipt. Okay, now we're going to cash these. These items, these are food items. Do me a favor, can you just use your gun on this one? I don't want it on the conveyor belt thank you okay huh 12 okay so now i've completed my shopping at heb and i just want to report that i had a very positive experience the checkers were were, were nice the young man was polite and nobody nobody has came up to me and told me oh you can't take a video Oh, you can't film in here. Okay, everybody has been very, very polite, including the customers. Nobody have acted um, obnoxious or anything like that. Everyone has been very, very polite and respectful. And look at our parking lot. You see how many cars there are? And these are just cars rotating. That's how business is in the United States of America. Okay, people. People come out, they shop. All these cars will leave and another set will come in. All before the end of the day. This young man, look, you see people are doing all kinds of different things to make a living. This man is working at HEB. He has to go out in the heat and collect the carts. But he don't mind because he at least is making something rather than sitting on the street corner and doing nothing and shooting up drugs or drinking alcohol and worrying about his life. But he's humble, humble. You see, humbleness will get you very far in this world and in this society because when you're humble, opportunities are going to come your way. As always, I want to bless you and thank you for tuning in to my channel. And thank you for watching this wonderful video. As we say, uh, we're not saying goodbye to HEB. We're just saying we'll see you soon. We'll see HEB very soon. Because no matter where we go, so long as there's an HEB, we're going to be shopping there because HEB supports the community. HEB supports the African-American people. HEB supports the Jewish people. HEB itself is Jewish and so we are very grateful for the opportunity to have HEB in our neighborhood all right I will see you soon I've got the good stuff I've got the good stuff I've got the cheese and um, I'm gonna have to ask her why she bought the bread that she bought because that is not my bread that is not my bread. So one of the things you have to always do is to be a good citizen and to put the carts. You see, they provide you with a place to put the carts. Always put the carts up if you can. Don't just 
leave them in the parking lot it's gonna go it's gonna scratch somebody's car it's going to invent inconvenience someone from being able to pack like the people who left this here and like the person who left that here these are people who do not have uh, look at this old lady she's disciplined enough to return the part because most of these people have no etiquette no home training